step in doing a mini album for me is figuring out uh, what's going to go on what page and how many total pages I'm going to have. Um, I also print out the journaling if I have it. Um, I may have to go ahead and write the journaling up, or in this case, since I did those 12 by 12 pages, I had some of the journaling that I'd saved, um, and I just went through and printed out all of the journaling I had before now, I'll probably reword it, I'll change, maybe change the font or the color, but this gives me a starting point, so it gives me some idea how much room I need on each page uh, for wording. And so I've taken each of the, the journaling sections that I printed, cut them up, and wrote what they were about, and I've put them with the pictures they're going to go with. And that just took a few minutes to sort the, the pictures out for each of the sections. And then I decided, based on the number of pictures and how much uh, journaling I had, how many pages I was going to need uh, to do um, the uh, for that particular section. For example, our train trip, I've got three small pictures and one uh, four by six, so I'm going to use two pages uh, to do that. So I've laid everything out, I've counted up my pages, and it came out to be uh, 16 pages, including a title page and an end page, so there'll be eight sheets or eight page protectors, and I've got plenty of materials then uh, to work with. I also went ahead and figured out which pages I was going to put on the soft suede paper and which pages I was going to put on the uh, crumb cake or craft paper. For the soft suede, I had, in addition to the cardstock, I had some um, designer paper that was from these colors and I decided to use a little bit of that too to give it a little variety and also to stretch my cardstock that's uh, running a little low uh, to stretch that out a little bit. So let me lay these out and I'll show you kind of where I go from there. I've laid out all of my pages just putting the photograph, the journaling, and the background paper together. I haven't really worked out the layout for each page, although it's starting to come together in my head. The purpose here is just to get the, them in the right order, and so I can stack them up, and then I'll be able to pull them out and work on them. I have my title page, and I go in ahead and put a number one on that, and then I laid out my spreads, uh, pages two and three together, um, page four and five, which I've ended up being two different topics, but that's okay. Um, and then the rest of that one day will go on the next pages and so forth as I get go through the whole trip until I get to the last page. Which will actually end up when I do the count, page 16, and that will be the final page of the album. Normally I take all my spread out pages and stack them up and put them in a box, but since I have the album um, and it's really easy to slip these into sleeves, I just went ahead and put each of the pages into a sleeve. Um, I left the numbering and if there was journaling that went along with it, I included that. And so now I can pull them out and work on them um, whenever I want and then just put them right back in the album. Thanks for joining me and be sure and stop by for part three.